So the purpose of this little demo is to show how to use IBM SPSS Modeler. So first of all, what is IBM SPSS Modeler? Well, it's statistical analytical software, and it's used for data analysis, data mining, and data forecasting. It's based off the original SPSS statistics, but it offers a more dynamic user interface. Uh, you can easily import, manage, and analyze your data from a variety of sources, such as SQL, a flat file, IBM Cognos, Excel. It works well with the IBM business analytics environment. It allows you to easily construct graphs, cross tabulations, and most importantly, build forecasting models. Predictive analytics is very important. It allows you to see into the future and make good decisions based on long-term planning. The point of statistical analysis is to use a sample of data to make predictions about a larger population. It's best to do this to understand what decisions will cause a company to lose, gain money. It's easier to test it on a smaller sample size. It allows you to see if a certain strategy will be effective to understand which clients are high risk, low risk, stay in an insurance setting to make better planning decisions. This whole process, collecting data, analyzing data, it's making predictions, this is research. And research is the backbone of why we have certain processes in place. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do a decision tree analysis, analysis using a very simple retail data set. The purpose of decision tree analysis is to essentially model a series of events and look at how it affects an outcome, such as sale units. And it's based on conditional probabilities, such as you know, if I want to do a certain marketing strategy, how much sales will I get? Okay, and it can be used in a decision analysis is used in a variety of industries, including retail, healthcare, education, finance, to name a few. Okay, so let's get into the three minute real quick demonstration on how to use it. So here we have the SPSS data modeler interface. Under the source node, I'm going to get my data. Notice I can get it from a variety of different sources. In my case, I have a statistics file, which is a .sav. I'm going to double click on the node, find my data file, and it's been read in. I want to view my data and attach a table node. Okay, so this is sales data. It's dummy data that's been made up, and it's sale units based on different demographic factors and different advertisement portals. So did they come through the internet? Is it through a flyer? And then satisfaction scores. So the first thing we're going to do is read in our data using a type node. This allows us to read in our values and make sure that the units, the measurement units is correct. So here I can see all my variables. I could change total sales to be continuous and apply. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to graph a couple variables. So say we don't know what type of graph will mathematically, will correctly represent the variables. You could use a distribution, a histogram. The graph board node allows you to select your variables and it gives you a set of applicable graphs that you could use. If I double click on the graph board node and I'm going to select total sale and advertisement gives me a list of applicable graphs that I can choose. So I know I can never make a mistake. So I'll choose a bar graph for simplicity purposes. Click run and I could see that most of my sales come from the internet fly followed by the flyer, the newspaper, radio ad, and no advertisement deals, virtually no sales. Next feature that's great to see correlations graphically between certain variables is the web node, which is located in the graph tab. I'm going to bring it and attach it to my data set. Double click and say I want a quick snapshot of the demographics. I could select gender, education, and marital status, hit apply, OK, then run. Right away, I see my main demographic is male with a college education, and they're usually married or could be single. 
say I want to export these easily, I could export it to say a .jpg format and embed it in presentation. Now the modeling, which is the forecasting. There's a there's many different mod statistical distributions that I could use, general linear, logistic, discriminant, but it's sometimes hard to determine what to use, which is why they developed a auto numeric node, which allows you to select what you want to input, and it brings about a list of applicable distributions that you could use. Under the fields, say I want to predict total sales, and I'm going to predict it by gender, household income, satisfaction score, and advertisement. Click OK and run. And what it does is it runs a list of applicable statistical distributions and ranks the top three. If all is well, this golden nugget will appear. And double click on it. And it tells me that my best models to use would be a shade, a CNR, or a neural net. So I'm going to use a shade. So it kind of acts with the GPS for statistical distributions. So I'm going to grab a shade node, attach it, and I'll go ahead and I'll select the same variables that I previously selected, total sales, and then I'm going to select gender, education, satisfaction score, and advertisement. Apply, hit run, and it builds my decision tree for me. And double click on that. It tells me that in terms of sales, my biggest adverti advertisement is my biggest predictor, followed by gender, education, and then satisfaction score. If I go to viewer, it tells me that on average I get 4.5 sales. In Coming from the internet, I get 12.2, so it almost doubles. Coming from a flyer, it goes up by two units. And then radio ad, it goes down. And newspaper, it goes down. And no advertisement yields no sales. So right away, I know that in terms of marketing strategies, I could get rid of radio ads and newspapers so, since it doesn't deem any sales and focus on what does, which is internet and the flyer. And these are all split on statistical significance. If I go down, I can see that people that fall into Education 2, which is college, get four sales. And then it's split by gender, with one being female, zero being male. And then in terms of university and postgrad, I get more sales, on average seven. And then it's then split by gender. So this is a simple decision tree, you know, what if analysis on how I can improve my sale units based on advertisement. And so I get an understanding of where my sales come from. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed my demo.